retail neighbourhood centres, bulky goods, industrial was that that was most affected by the GFC. So then we had to change direction again and uh, we, we moved into more residential in those days after post GFC. And we came out of it a much stronger company than we had been even when we were doing the high, high volume turnover. So often what looks bad on the day is the opportunity to get a better outcome than what you're already getting. We'd done a joint venture with Quest at Singleton, and then post GFC we did a Quest at Maitland, which was an extension of Quest Maitland. Off the back of that, yeah, we're at the Bradford. And that forged the relationship with our core. There was a vacant block of land at the uh, airport that again had been identified for some years. Uh, developers had been looking at it, just couldn't make it work. Uh, we thought we could and uh, we put together a design not dis dissimilar to what we'd been doing on the Quest and, and we still now to the, today operate the uh, airport hotel up there. With the progress over here it, it's more than just build a hotel or build some offices, it's all, all about the whole place is uh, progressing and you contribute into it. Really, it was about looking for opportunities, and and and, uh, and where was there an opportunity? Well, obviously uh, the hotel still functioned; people were still travelling, so they, they, that was really an opportunity to just yeah to diversify and, and do something a little bit different. And we saw an opportunity here with uh, with the multi-story, and that then continued, as you know, then into the the multi-story um, residential uh, was basically uh, that came from this uh, these types of buildings. We've evolved from steel frame as we did on this building at four storeys to full concrete when we go 18 floors. And once you get above the second floor, third floor, you can do a floor every week. When I was 16, some 56 years ago, I got the job mowing the Air Force Base with my lawnmower. And so it was almost like coming home again. So I think it showed that uh, we could do um, the, that multi-storey um, construction, uh, utilising really the, uh, particularly the concrete panels, uh, the flooring systems, uh, and, and, and that had a steel component, structural steel component. In it. And then we, we, we certainly then saw the opportunity uh, to look at multi-storey uh, residential. And again, we brought on board um, some highly skilled project managers in that area to enable us to do that. So it was off the back of building that I think we thought, geez, we can do this, and we have given an opportunity. There was a site that we could acquire in um, Newcastle West. A lot of, we had a lot of doubters, because Newcastle West, even five years ago, I suppose it is now, isn't what it is today. It was inevitable that it was going to happen, because Newcastle moved from being a retail shopping centre, come business district, into more of a residential, university town. We were confident we could build something like uh, Aero with the expertise of the team that was put together there and the delivery of it and then subsequent awards that it was given by master builders and uh, the quality of the finish. Uh, then obviously, uh, yeah, it was pretty uh, satisfying to see that completed, but it also just gave us the confidence to go on and, and, and do, do some more. And uh, yeah, it's a credit to the team that, uh, that built that. When you're building a building for a client, you get involved to a certain extent with his operation and, and with his ambitions and with his way of doing things, and that's fascinating. Here it's different because you're talking about people's homes and people's um, lifestyle and, their, and what they want out of their uh, home. So, you know, it's, it's different, but it's, it's just as fascinating. Yeah, we moved in straight, straight in downstairs as soon as we were finished. 
We were pretty accessible. We are very accessible. Standing behind your product is what it is.